Hey YouTubers, I'm back. I've got a special video today. This one is going to be all about the Lucky Star UK press-ins. We'll start off with the very first rare sunglasses sleeve that most fans uh, tend to go crazy over. I'm going to give you a bit of information about them. So we'll start with the 7-inch single. This was the first or the second single released in the UK. You can see it says edit on the front cover. So after everybody was released, which is a flop in the UK, uh, Sire decided to release a single called Lucky Star. You can see it's an edit version. That's the back cover. Now these were the very first pressings that were released in England. You'll see it comes with a large Sire logo. Now you need to watch for this particular type of label design because this is actually the original UK pressings and how they came with that large Sire logo. So some people have swapped their sleeves with a newer reissue, which is not correct. So that's one way of identifying. Here is the original 12 inch sleeve. Now this also says here a uh, full length version. So it's a longer version of the song. Um, the sleeve is very similar, obviously, to the 7 inch. Now these were issued in very small numbers, small quantities in the first issue in 1983, and then later reissued for a short time in 1986 as a reissue campaign. Both records come with this particular label design. So you can see there, made in the UK, manufactured in the UK, Lucky Star, and I know it on the B side. So that's how they came, and whether you get the reissue or the original issue, as long as it has a sunglasses sleeve and that um, label design, that uh, these are particularly sought after. And that can go for hundreds of dollars. The seven inch single tends to go for thousands, obviously, for being so much rarer. Now here's a rare issue that most people don't know about. You can see the label design is different. So once again, full length version of Lucky Star. But if you compare it to the label design of the sunglasses sleeve, this is different layout design. There are far less of these layout designs here, which seems to be a reissue. It came in a plain black sleeve um, on the back, I know it, but these are harder to find. Um, some people seem to think these are the actual original 1983 pressings of Lucky Star, but I can't confirm that. Now here's something that's really rare. This is, once again, a full-length version of Lucky Star in the sunglasses sleeve. Now in 1983, there are only two countries in the world that had this cover. Um, and this sleeve design. It's the UK and Ireland. This is the rare Irish pressing. You can see here that it has different label titles there. This is actually an Irish pressing. Um, the vinyl itself is indented. Now these are much rarer than the UK pressings and much harder to find. Um, you can see the indent there. And they're also translucent brown vinyl. So you hold them up to the light, which is a bit hard to see there, but um, you compare the two of them together, the sleeves are very similar. I think the Irish version is just a little bit darker, but um, yeah, very hard to find. So if you get either sunglasses sleeve, you'll be lucky. And there is also a seven inch version of the Irish pressing in the sunglasses sleeve. Another thing I should mention is watch out for the fakes that are out there. There's quite a few counterfeit versions of the seven inch. So you need to look for signs that show the difference between the originals and the fakes. So a year later, after Holiday becomes a big hit in the UK, Sire Records decided to release, reissue Lucky Star in 1984, this time with different packaging. There was far more marketing around it. You can see some of the ads here that were released in uh, some of the music magazines to promote the single. But this time it came in a totally different picture sleeve. This is a really cool reissue picture sleeve. It's a great design. So this version of Lucky Star is the same. The record, there are two types. So one that does not have the Jelly Bean credit label on there. You also have to watch for the small Sire logo. And then the other one that does include the Jelly Bean credit. This was issued for both of the 1984 reissues. Um, but the biggest tell, tell sign is um, the fact that it's got a small Sire logo compared to the original issue that has the larger Sire logo. And that's how you can tell the original 1983 issue from the 84 reissues. So to the 12 inch, in 1984 there was also a reissued 12 inch in a great unique picture cover, TV screen design, it came with a free poster. So not only did it have a new image on the front cover, the poster that came with it was quite collectible. This is an image of the poster. Um, on the flip side, it basically just has the same sort of information, same version um, and the same code basically as the original issue. 
you'll see that the vinyl record looks identical to the first issues of the Lucky Star sunglasses sleeve. Uh, so they could have been either top up or uh, multiple copies that were made and the sleeves were the only things that were repressed. The next reissue is the US remix of Lucky Star. So Lucky Star had been released in the US um, and there was a special remix made. So in England they reissued Lucky Star again with a US remix version around about the same time as the 1984 reissue. Um, you can see that it has a different part number there with TV code at the end that differentiates it and a totally different die cut sleeve design. They're pretty cool. Um, rumored to be promos as well, DJ copies, but um, not as easy to find nowadays. So I hope you enjoyed my video on the rare Lucky Star UK pressings. Um, I will be back with more videos and more information, so stay tuned. And if you like my video, please don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Cheers. Make